Oh good, you're finally here. Welcome. If you could just pop down there on that forever clogged toilet seat. There we go. Oof, uh, careful not to wriggle around too much. It's uh, constantly overflowing. Yeah. Yeah, let's just see. Uh, that's not exactly brown paint that's spilling over there. But we'll ignore that for now. My name is Dr. Flames a lot, but for whatever reason, people down here like to call me Dr. Fire Booty. But you can call me Pal. Don't touch me. Don't know where you've been. Okay, but um, let's see. Um, do you smell something? Oh God. Is that you? Oh God, why? It's Oh god. Apologies, it's just allergies just get crazy this time of year in the mortal realm. And funnily enough, October also happens to be our busiest time of year too, if you could believe it. Yeah. It's just it's just when you think all oh, those guys that get a good right good chuckle dressing like us at this time of year thinking it's totally harmless and well boy are they gonna be in for a big surprise. But Enough about that. Let's focus on you. So, I assume you already know why you're here. You know that every person that comes down here, every, well, let's be honest, every monster gets evaluated for their permanent stay here, down under. And so uh, we just need to evaluate every sin you've ever committed, you know, every single one that you thought was just perfectly harmless, no harm done, and just figure out exactly which ones are the worst? I mean, we could get through every single one, but I'm going to be honest with you. I've already seen the list, and, uh, well, it's longer than Santa's naughty list. Yeah. So for today, we're just going to focus on the worst ones that you've committed, and then get you ready with a medical exam, just to make sure that your uh, disposition is satisfactory for your permanent stay here in, well, in hell. Yeah. Sounds like fun, right? Yeah. Okay, so I just need to get my pen. Oh dear, it doesn't look like I have one here. Oh, oh, wait a minute. What do we have here? Looks like we can already make use of you. Just give me a moment. Lodged right into the temple. How convenient. But now I'm still missing a piece of paper to write with. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I spy with my little eye. Open wait for me. Wait a minute. Just... <sighs> so that explains the joker smile that you've got. Just kind of lodged in there. Okay, and with that, I've also got a little notepad here, so we'll just be using this to take things off. And then I'll be checking exactly a couple of questions and conducting an evaluation on you, just to see just how bad you really are. Okay, okay, so first question is, do you think you've been a good soul in life? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And can you tell me why you've been a good soul? Well, I mean, like, why? Well, what have you done? Like, what have you done that permits you to be a good citizen, you know, a good person in general? So, I mean, it can't be that good considering, well, you're down here with us, aren't you? Mm, yeah. So, I'm listening. Tell me why. In detail, if you can. Or don't. I'm not really bothered. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that does seem pretty good by human standards, anyways. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, and then the next question. Uh, is there a reason you felt the need to lie about the previous statement? Yeah, well, um, 
here's the thing all the things you uh, listed well let's just see anybody can really accomplish them they're not really good they're kind of just taking common sense as it were so you know not really good I would say but let's just move on so um third there's a little thing here that says approximately on the sixth day of the sixth month of the sixth realm you left the toilet seat up and you also didn't wash your hands you want to explain that yeah yeah no no that's that's not a no go the the boss i mean well the boss down here he's a bit of a clean freak a clean freak excuse me he's a bit of a clean freak you know and between you and me that's also why he left upstairs as well it's just getting a bit too unhygienic for his liking you know a lot of dirty gods if you know what i mean yeah but you didn't hear from me so okay so that was the first part of the evaluation very simple very quick right yeah but now we move on to the sins so let's just get right into it we'll try to be quick god don't have all day <laughs> well i don't anyways so first thing is uh you left an unfinished cup of tea to be cold and forgotten aka you never drank it you just left it for a good few hours what's that about well fun fact the boss is also a huge fan of cup of teas and he thinks it's very disgraceful that you should just leave one out and abandon like that not a good start i would say okay um and then you also wear odd socks See, dear sweet Lucy is very a big fan of matching things. He likes things to be symmetrical. He can't really do that with odd socks. And then to add to that, you also unironically wear Crocs with odd socks. Mm -hmm. uh, and you also still haven't washed that hoodie from 2020. Yeah, yeah, no, that's not an excuse. A modern black death is not an excuse for that. You should be getting that washed. Okay, and then... Oh no. You didn't thank the bus driver that one time. The man took the time to just travel you around to your destination and work to provide for his family or his guardians or whatever and you didn't even thank him when you got off the bus. <laughs> Buddy, what are you doing? That is downright unacceptable. Okay, and then um, it says here you enjoy olives and jalapenos on your pizza. Yeah, the funny thing is, usually people have an issue with the Hawaiian pizza with the pineapple, but no, honestly, in my personal opinion, it has to be olives and the jalapenos that's really the big evil thing, the one that really makes you that devious little demon. Mm -mm. Okay, let me just move on to the next one. Okay, well that was just a li that was just a minor list of your sins. You know, there's many more, but we're, we're on a time limit, as it were. So I'll just shut up and uh, so let's talk about hell itself. What's so bad about it? Well, it really comes. You've got the you've got the fiery pit of a burning flame that you constantly have to deal with. That is one thing. It's constantly hot. You know, you'll always be sweating as if it weren't already obvious, but what if I told you they weren't the worst? No, 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 no. The worst is actually minor inconveniences. Yeah. So, for example, uh, you'll always need the bathroom. Like, your bladder's always going to be full. You're always going to feel like your kidneys are about to explode. Mm -hmm. Every walk is going to be searing agony. And uh, speaking of walking, uh, you'll never have any shoes. Your toenails will be far too long, and you'll always feel like you're walking on hot rocks. I'm doing that now, as a matter of fact, and it's still absolute agony, but I would like to see you get used to it well. That would be a bit of a lie. Okay, and, um, oh yes, and the good news is you can keep your phone. Do you have your phone on you? Mm hmm Well, um, here's the thing. Uh, you will only ever have your worst enemies, contacts, or celebrities that you hate, and you're going to be needing to call them on a daily basis and be genuine about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, 
Oh, but the good news is you do get to have uh, water here. We do issue water from the taps and just like up there. But uh, it will always be swampy and warm. So you like, you know, that type of water that might be nice, nice and roasting hot, like a nice cup of tea that you would have. And it's all nice and warm and feel, still tastes kind of fresh. Well, this one's going to taste really clammy, like a zombie dipped its toes in it. And in this case, it actually did. So that's something you get to look forward to. Um, oh yes, your soup will always be ice cold. You don't mind? Well, um, here's the thing. We only serve prune soup. So you don't get tomato or chicken or anything. It's always just prunes. So yeah. Hope you're a fan of that old man type of food. Uh, your pasta will always be too crunchy. You know, undercooked. Self-explanatory. Oh yes. This is a personal favourite of mine. Uh, your laces will forever be untied. And you will trip up every step and embarrass yourself. And I do mean Every single step. Mm hmm Okay, and uh, your milk, the milk that you have for your cereal, your tea and all that, it will always be thick like rice and past the expiration date by like two years, no matter which one you get, no matter where you buy from. Mm hmm And finally, uh, we do have deodorant, so you will be able to have a certain signature scent about you, but um, it will always be dog breath mixed with tuna. Yeah, so that is something that uh, you get to look forward to. So I've already ticked them off now. So that's fun. Doesn't that sound fun so far? Mm -hmm. But I think we've talked enough about that. I think you get the gist. So I think now we need to um, just conduct a medical exam. So let me just get my gloves here. These will be searing, by the way. You will feel it will feel like I'm basically burning you. So that's fun. Let me get this one for a second here. Mm -hmm. Hmm. What was that? What did I do to get in hell? Well, fun fact, I was like you. I was not born down here. I was dragged down here. See, I used to have an ASMR channel, if you know what that is. Mm -hmm. I used to have an ASMR channel, and it was April 1st, so I decided to play a little prank on my subs and um, just burst their eardrums with an air horn at full blast and 100% gain. But little did I know, the boss, good old Lucy, happened to be listening in at that point. Turns out he's also a fan of ASMR. Or at least he was, till he heard my video. And so, um, after that video went public, he literally, quite literally, dragged me from my ankles right into hell. He crawled right up into my room, crawled, like, pulled open the realm from the carpet, and just dragged me right down. And now I'm kind of just a receptionist here, forever, you know. But personally, I still think it was worth it. Okay, so, I think... <sighs> Before anything, I do just want to have a look at your overall being here. Just how you look like you're doing. How do you feel? You now you feel pretty bad. Got a searing headache. You know, constant teeth. Feel like they want to be pulled out. Or they feel like they are being pulled out. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Yep. Well, just want to have a look at your eyes here. Okay, well, it looks like one is already starting to hang down a bit. So that is something. We just... Yep. Mm -hmm. um, oh, looks like that one might have just popped out there. Let me just... There we go. Mm. Actually, you know what? It looks like it could use a bit of a spit shine. Just let me go. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that is pretty rotten though. And um Okay, and what about your mouth here? Actually let me just get a special little stick here. Can you just open your mouth? Okay, it's just gonna hang down there, kind of de detached in it. Yeah, okay, well let's just have a look, just look at the back there. Can you see ah 
I said ah, not growl. Oh god, that's some breath right there. Oh Jesus Christ. What did you eat before you came down here? Hmm. Not the best. Okay. You got your rotten teeth there. It looks like your tongue is also kind of split into two as well. What's that about? Hmm. Um, okay, well, I just want to count those teeth or what's left of them. So, I'll tell you what, if there's anything that's my worst kind of hell, it's having all this hair that I can never get rid of. So, let's just count the teeth here. We'll just go. Here. Well, there's only seven at the bottom. Mm -hmm. What about the top? We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, forty, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six, twenty-seven, twenty-eight, twenty-nine, thirty, thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four, thirty-five, thirty-six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. Okay, so apparently they just keep going. So the bottom of your mouth and your broken jaw you've got about seven teeth and then up top you have about three sets of teeth okay that's news to me okay so just want to go back to your eyes can you just try and follow it for me okay well it looks like we have one eye that's able to follow it there's just kind of just dangling there funnily enough the one that's following is also the one that's kind of just hanging down. That's an in that's interesting. Okay, let's try something else. Can you tell me when you see it just turn on? So again, try to follow it. And then tell me when it turns on. Did you not hear me? You, you can tell me when it turns on. You tell me when it turns on, okay? Okay, let's try again. Yep. Yeah, you sure? Yep. Yeah. Okay. You didn't see it that time. Okay. This seems to be going pretty well so far. Yeah, yeah. Are you sure? You, you, you're not sure. Okay, well. We'll just uh, leave that for now. Let's try and test your peripheral vision. So can you just tell me when you see my fingers leave your vision? So you be like there. Will you still see them? Just there. Okay. Okay. Okay, fine. Anytime now. Hmm. Okay, just there, okay. You did not just see them leave your vision at that point. There's no way. Okay. Anytime now. Okay. Okay, how about we just uh, leave that? That probably gives me a good opportunity to, uh, to just check the state of your eyes. I don't think you're in any mood for just... Well, like, you certainly don't seem bothered by the fact I'm literally poking a stick on your eye, so I guess I'll just keep doing it. See how long it takes before it bursts. Mm -hmm. So I guess I'll just focus right on the pupil there. Since I'm pretty sure that you don't seem bothered by it, let's go with something a bit sharper instead. Yeah. That's more like it. Okay. I think we can try a different test here. So I'm just going to poke your eye with this again. Can you just... But we'll do it with either sharp or... Dull. So can you tell me if it's just sharp or dull? 
would tell you to close your eyes, but well, that would seem pretty ironic. So just keep those eyes open, don't blink. On second thought, I don't think I actually have seen you blink this whole time, so maybe I'm wasting my time even seeing that, so shut up a door. You thought that was dull. Okay. Oh, oh now it was sharp. Oh, oh, okay. What about... You're not sure. <laughs> that wasn't sharp, no. It was dull. Neither. That didn't work. That... <sighs> okay, one more. Okay, that was... Okay. We'll do it another way. I want you to follow this tip and I want you to tell me when it touches your eye. Just keep following the tip. Nothing. Okay, let's try again. Just focus on the tip of the screwdriver. You didn't feel it. You didn't even see it. Okay, well, let's try one more thing here. I have some shapes, so I just want you to trace, just trace the screwdriver for me. What do you think this is? What type of shape do you see? It's not a diamond, no, we'll try again. It's got three sides, three corners. All sharp, kind of looks like a mountain. No, the mountain is not a shape. Okay, we'll try a different one. Okay, what about this one? This one seems a bit easier. We've got four corners here. Just symbol going around. What do you think? What shape? It's similar to my glasses. Come on, you can do it. No idea? It, no, it, no, it's not a circle. Okay, we'll try, this one might actually be a bit trickier, oh. oh now you see it's a diamond, okay. Okay, and what about, one more, what about this one? An octagon? An octagon. Do you know what an octagon is? <laughs> okay, how about... Okay, we'll switch it up. We'll see. What colour do you see? Just the colour. The name is right there. What colour? Orange. Okay. Uh, is that the same one? Okay. We have literally the same one. What colour? What's this? What does this say? Blue. Wow. Okay. We're doing that now, are we? Okay, what about this one? It's the same colour is what you're probably seeing right now with those eyes of yours. What do we got here? What's this say? Yeah, just follow the screwdriver over tracing the letters. What do you see? What is this? Black. Okay. You know what? I'll give you a pass on that one. This one is bright like the sun. Do you remember the sun? You know? We also have a sun, but it's constantly staring us in pain. Okay, so what's this? What do we have here? We've got... Yeah... No, not yes. We're not talking about that. What do we got? What's the colour? What is this? Yeah, sure. You know what? Yeah, you're right. And with that... I think just... Honestly, out of pure curiosity, I just want to check your heart, your lungs, your soul, whatever is in that chest. So, if you could just breathe in for me. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, that's what I thought. Okay. Again, we'll go on the other side. Breathe in for me. You know, there's one thing that surprised me 
about this. It's the fact that I really thought that I wasn't going to hear any kind of heartbeat. And instead... Sorry. And instead, I hear something moving inside you. Did you eat something by any chance? Because I swear to God, that sounds like something is squeaking inside you. Okay. Let's try again. Let's try the back this time. So, breathe in for me. Okay, and again, breathe in for me. The damn thing screamed in my ear. You know what, I probably deserve that. Okay, well, I think... I'm very intrigued to know if there's anything inside you, because I swear to God, that felt like that went into your head. So I just want to have a look at these ears. I want to see if I can find anything rupturing around them. So let me just get the other scope. Where is it? There you are. Okay, so I'm just going to check and see if I can find anything. Okay, so inserting it in three, two. Okay. What in the hell am I looking at? Okay, well, there is definitely something rummaging around in there. Past all the disgusting wax. Jesus Christ. Okay, we'll try again on this side. Mm hmm. This is disgusting. And, uh, yep. <laughs> yep. Yep, there's something in there. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to have to try and get that out. So let me just... Honestly, I'm just, just going to take your ear off here. And I'm just going to... <sighs> Come on. <sighs> God, hold this something here. Yeah. There you are. This thing is pretty fast. It went from your chest and your heart and lungs all the way to your head. Did you know this thing was in here? Oh, you did, and you chose not... Okay, well, yeah, you definitely deserve to be down here with the amount of lies that you're telling me right now. Mm -hmm. Okay, well... This thing is dancing... Like it's a Michael Jackson's thriller. So. I guess we'll just see how we do here. Let me just try something else here. Get the quill pen. I just want to try. Seems to have calmed down just a bit. Okay. Just give him a bit of a shake. Can you hear me? Shake once for yes, twice for no. I'll take that as a yes. So, with your uh, body here. Did you enjoy being with him? Dance for yes. Stay flat for no. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Did he do anything to you? 
he didn't clean his ears. Yeah, that explains it. I'm guessing you had to deal with all that wax, didn't you? Yeah, you did. There's a bad person here. They belong here. Yes, you do. Well, I think this time has gone on long enough. I think we've established that you do, in fact, belong here. And you, we can also add another sin onto this list, being that you were getting on my wick just a bit. I know it's not your fault, but you know, that's what they all say. So, I'll just make a quick call to my boss, make sure that he understands that you've arrived. And I'm sure that he'll be very glad to meet you in the very near future. And, um, so yeah, you can just kind of just be on your way. You know, just have a look around, see all the people here, all your favorite celebrities, the serial killers, the murderers, the celebrities, the politicians, especially the British ones. You know, just have a look around. And I suppose I'll see you later, probably when you're searing in hot lava. So.